Hey guys, Joel Seidman here. Going to be going over one of my favorite overhead lunging techniques and it's the bottoms up overhead lunge with a kettlebell. And there's a few reasons that I really like this. First off, it really forces you to stay tight uh, and really engage those core muscles. And if there's any area on your body that's loose or relaxed, it makes it very difficult. So that's one of the reasons that I really like it. The other reason though is that it helps to eliminate one of the most common errors that I see on an overhead lunge. And what I mean by that is you'll often see individuals when they're doing an overhead lunge, their arms start to drift forward or they won't lock their arms out all the way, they'll have them slightly bent. With a kettlebell, if you do that, you're basically going to lose the weight, you'll dump it or it'll collapse in your hands, it gives you that immediate feedback. So it forces you to keep your hand, elbow and shoulder perfectly stacked on top of each other. If that doesn't happen again, you'll lose it. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Again, overhead in line with the ear, bring one leg forward, one leg back, keep those hips pulled back, come down controlled, drive it back up. I like to have this other arm out here for some, some support and stability. Again, drive it up, nice and controlled. I'm not letting the weight drift forward. If I did, you saw what happened there. I let the weight drift forward and it collapsed and I wasn't able to main, maintain control over it. So. Excellent technique for really reinforcing that good overhead slot position on the overhead lunge. And again, you can do this exercise in a contralateral or ipsilateral fashion. What I just did there, I was showing it contralaterally with opposite arm, so it was right arm, left leg in front, or you could do it in an ipsilateral fashion where you would do the same arm, same leg in front. So I would have, for example, my left arm and left leg in front. They both provide a slightly different stimulus, they're both very good, so it's good to mix it up. The other thing that I want to point out real fast is that with the overhead lunge, you want to make sure that you get good hinge mechanics at the hips. So with the overhead lunge, it's very common to see the hips start to drift forward like this. We want to make sure those hips stay pulled back the entire time. So you notice my hips are back, I'm doing that slight hip hinge, but my arms are still pulled back in that good slot position. So we don't want here, and we don't want this. We want those hips pulled back, arm in line with the head, right there. So again, that's the bottoms up overhead lunge. Give it a try, let me know what you think, all right? Thanks.